broadcast. I guess it's flashback Wednesday because Miss Pat Smith is here. We're so excited to have you back at the table with us. I'm so happy. Like this just feels so comfortable. I know. Like I'm like my home, girlfriends. Huh? It feels like home, and I don't have the pressure. Well, you start. You started this whole show with us. That's you know, right. you were you were an original. So it's but I was it's a hot mess. Nice to have you back. No, you when we started. No, you weren't. Well, no, I was. No, no. no. you're no. winking at me, Courtney. No, because they were going to help me on prompter. No, I help out with her prompter. You just didn't like the teleprompter, and that's no. okay. Nobody likes the teleprompter. It scared me. But let me tell you something that you are very, very good at, and I know that um, a lot of our viewers remember you for this, is just your honesty mm -hmm. yeah. and your that real quality that you have about you mm -hmm. that, that, by the way, I think is surprising to yeah. people. You oh, know, yeah. when they I'm see you. Real. <laughs> I'm going to keep it real on you. That's just the way I'm She wears built. her bonnet on when she was on the air, and anybody who will come on the air with her bonnet on and still look good. Well, I don't know how <laughs> I look, but it definitely was keeping it real. <laughs> you were always very, very honest on the air, and, and people just love that. Mm -hmm. um, okay, have you all seen this list? This is two second grade girls were asked to make a list of the, the 24 steps of falling in love. Oh. Uh -oh. This is the cutest thing you've ever seen. Well, I don't know cute. if it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. I thought it was cute just because it's just, it's like They're kids. second graders. Okay, so number one is first you stare at the person. Cute. Number Creepy. two is you get Stonkers. close to each other. Cute. cute. Number three, you ask for a date. Aww. Okay, like I'm, I'm liking this so cute. far. Number four, you go in bed and do sex. <laughs> oh, oh, wait a minute. What age? Second graders. Second graders. So this is what, like an eight-year-old? Oh, and that's not good. An eight-year-old? That's not good. You I'm go in bed and have sex at, or, and do, do sex. sex. And then number five, when you kiss, you suck and lick. Oh, oh So Lord. somebody's <laughs> watching too much TV or mom and dad, you got to keep that door locked. Oh, my gosh. Um, number six, get naked in bed and do more sex. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is all very funny, but I said this morning when I heard this, I'm like, eight-year-olds know about sex, and parents need to be talking about their kids. And yeah, I'm like, do I, I need to go you. home and talk to the no, friend? She's here no, today. No, I, they, I wasn't really me. thinking about that when you were saying that. Like, I'm not oh, thinking about oh, their worried that they know about sex. I'm thinking they really do understand the, how to keep a man on. happy. They're <laughs> eight. <laughs> They're eight. Suck his lip and have more sex. I They're mean, that's eight. really, <laughs> yeah, no, you know what? Touch the bare bones of any relationship. But you know what, as a mom though, Don, hit it. It's like, you've got to start talking to your you kids have early. To. But and what's so, early? Well, I'm going to tell you, I five, think when they ask six? you, Skylar asked me, how oh. do you have babies? Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. Hey, I, d I had to lay it out there too, and I broke it down as simple as I could. Because my mom gave me a babies? book. <laughs> well, kidding. I told her. I said, well, "Y'all want me to tell you?" <laughs> yeah. But I told her basically, you know, it takes a man and a woman, mm -hmm. and you know, Who the love each other that love each other. There you okay. Go. I said that you know he has a. Can I say it on? Wait, do we want to know? Do we want to maybe get the kids <laughs> yeah. out of the room if they're not ready to have this conversation? Okay, let's, I won't tell you what I told my child. You tell your child. But I, t I will tell you what not to do. My mother gave me a book oh. about chickens. Oh, and she oh, said, I read book about the flowers. And she said, Jeez. read this book. And then she left the room. Do you remember that, Pam? Our mom did that. <laughs> to this day, I still started? don't know, other than my own activity, how oh. men and women have babies. Wow. Like, I had to I learn on my own through well, my girlfriend. Apparently, it works, wow. whatever you do. Well, it works. I got five. 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 I got um, yeah. I'm tell my kid. I'm having yes, that conversation with my kids. You, no one else. These second graders, they go on, and oh, step no. number eleven is take a shower together and kiss. <laughs> oh. Number 12 is give each other rings. So you finally get to it at number 12. <laughs> apparently, end. apparently I've done the, the shower and, the ring. <laughs> and um, they only got to number 13, then they stopped because they were tired of it. I suppose. This disturbs me. Like, it's funny, but it disturbs me. It was go to the pool together. To okay, pool. do you all think mm -hmm. that our kids listen to us? Absolutely. I hope so. Do you think they're like, I'm just more than that, they, they take their they cues watch. on what you do. They, they watch. watch. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Your every move. They you watch. Think they're not watching. They watch they what are. you're doing. They watch what you watch on TV. When right. you think your kids aren't watching, mm -hmm. they're watching you watch. Mm -hmm. They are listening to what you listen to in, on the radio in the morning when you're Little driving sponges. them to school. Mm -hmm. um, and they have questions about those Little things. Sponges. And if you don't address those things with your kids, they're going to ask their friends questions. Well, and then they're going to get online because right. the little one's eight years old. You get online. And well, I will they're going to look today. And I hope my dad is not watching online. <laughs> I did hear he and my mother having sex. Oh, I heard my mom. And it was it, traumatizing. It, it devastated. Traumatizing. I'm still oh. traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> <from what I laughs> but you have, have you had, had your kids oh, walk in ever? No, lock the door. Lock the door. We've gotten a knock, too. We've gotten a knock. 
lock the door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of children, we need to wish your baby yeah. a happy birthday. Yes, y'all. I have an 18-year-old, yeah. which oh you know that she's feels an adult. adult. She's an adult. She's an adult. She's an adult. She goes, okay, mom. I can go buy one of those scratch off yes, things on Pam. Yes. Yes. And she said, I can go to jail. Yes. I was like, I remember that. Yeah, she could have gone to jail, jail early. <laughs> 18 well, months Luckily, jail. she was not doing anything bad. She's a great She's young a lady. Beautiful. She's a sweetheart. Not beautiful only do you woman. look amazing for having an 18 year old, but Thank can you. we please talk about Christy Brinkley for a second? Yes. I saw this photo this morning and freaked out over it. She is 59 years old, and she was at the Sports Illustrated Awards. Um, of course, she was one of the original Sports Illustrated swimsuit models and they actually showed a photo of her when she was 20 and she looks a thousand times more amazing yes. now at 59 she's oh wearing goodness. this little black dress with her long legs and I'm just like and I've seen photos of her mother as well we're gonna show you the picture here in a second okay. but I've seen pictures of her mother as well mm -hmm. and it is in the jeans mm -hmm. I'm telling you so do you think it's they, all jeans or is it you know I think it's what we living. do good living I think she doesn't drink she eats well she exercises regularly she does all the things that we all know that right. we should do to you know so she's just a freak to of preserve nature. everything look at her and then can we scroll down on this photo Mia and show her, her fantastic legs. legs. Yeah. Oh, Look at her. She's awesome. Trick. I'm mean, so <laughs> nice. Don't go trick. trick. We hate on her. She was no, but what didn't she? What um, Broadway show did she do where she played Roxy Hart just in her 50s? I mean, she looks amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I want to know what her secret is. I'm Good telling you, the secret, like, you you the secret is her. working out and eating right and drinking water. But that I mean, doesn't work really for everybody. I do that. And getting <laughs> sleep and cutting back on, on alcohol and things like that. I mean, just really living mm -hmm. a good life and and nourishing your body from right. from within, within. I always say that she's a great example eat. well let me tell you another one is Michelle Obama she's yes. gonna be 50 this yeah this weekend she's beautiful. And but black don't crack we've already said that Mine Mine does. Does. Mine <laughs> does. Mine does. it's not cracking that's the white side of my, <laughs> I blame that on my dad it is your dad there is, I see the same there thing is too. something wonderful about having extra melanin in your yes. skin right. whether you are yes. you know Latina or African American you just it's it's your Latina kind of now you're embracing Okay, we're back in the <laughs>